Today, we are here to announce that yesterday, members of the Union County Prosecutor's Office, Homicide Task Force, Force and Elizabeth Police Department obtained complaints charging Todd West, age 22, of Elizabeth, with four murders in Elizabeth, as well as one attempted murder. He is charged with three counts of first-degree murder, eight counts of second-degree unlawful weapons possession, and one count of second-degree attempted murder for the June 25, 2015, shooting spree deaths of 28-year-old Dennis Vega of Elizabeth, 29-year-old Jamil Payne of Elizabeth, 32-year-old Kevin Nelson of Elizabeth, and wounding 24-year-old Richard Marte of Elizabeth. Additionally, Mr. West was charged with one count of first-degree murder and two counts of second-degree unlawful weapons possession in the May 18, 2015 shooting of his cousin, 29-year-old Michael Tompkins of Elizabeth. The securing of these complaints against Mr. West culminated with an investigation that began in the early morning hours of Thursday, June 25th. It was approximately 2.30 in the morning when the relative calm of the area of New Point Road and 7th Street in Elizabeth were shattered by a series of gunshots. A white vehicle approached Mr. Vega and a shooter shot several gunshots into his body and then left the scene. During the course of the remainder of the day and into the night, investigators from our office, along with members of the Lewis Police Department, the Union County Police, and the Union County Sheriff's Office undertook exhaustive investigative measures in an effort to solve Mr. Vega's murder. It was during the same night, at about 10 minutes to 10, that while investigators still diligently trying to find Mr. Vega's killer, he struck again, just over a quarter mile away. Shots rang out at the intersection of 6th and South Park Streets. When responding, Elizabeth Police units arrived. They found Mr. Payne, Jamil Payne, who had been killed by gunshots. The shooter exited a white vehicle, approached Payne, and shot him several times before returning to the car and taking flight. Investigators swarmed the scene, as they had done hours earlier, and began the task of trying to solve the second homicide of that day. Just less than an hour later, and less than a mile away, while investigators meticulously worked at the scene of Mr. Payne's shooting and canvassed the area for clues and leads, the killer struck again. Shots rang out in the area of 320 Clark Place, and when units arrived soon thereafter, they found a third homicide victim of the day, Kevin Nelson. Once again, the shooter in a white automobile, downing his third victim, had disappeared into the night. A mere 10 minutes later, as the scene began to build on Clark Place, the shooter once again in his white car struck at the intersection of Jackson Avenue and Julia Street. Upon their arrival, officers observed the victim, Richard Marte, suffering from severe gunshot wounds, but still alive. He was the only one to survive.